Hey guys, Danish Kasamali, owner of Silky Socks here for a design tutorial with my superstar. This is Raquel. <laughs> Raquel, she's a office admin at Silky and also graphic designer. Uh, Raquel, tell us a little about your design experience. Um, well, I used to work at Long Beach State as their graphic designer, so I've had about two years experience there. And right now I'm working with a nonprofit as well doing our social media, so I'm all over the place right now. <laughs> and you're working for And I'm working for Silky Socks. Silky Socks on the website and social media. One year now with Silky, right? Yeah, one year. One year, guys. Okay, so we're going to jump into Affinity and Photoshop, and we're going to choose uh, Silky Socks' free backgrounds from the athletic socks. We're going to open up two different backgrounds, one on each software, customize it, change it up. Uh, so by the end of the video, you'll hopefully have an understanding of Affinity and Photoshop, at least on a basic level, and how to edit some of our free backgrounds so you can make your own socks. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's get started. Let's do it. Alright, so here we go guys. Uh, let's show them where the templates are at first. Alright, so you guys are going to go on silkysocks.com, then you're going to head over to our resources tab and hit templates. Then this is going to take you to this link where it's like all our design templates for all of our products. And you're going to find where it says free background artwork files. Double click on that and you'll find all of our free design backgrounds on here. Awesome. So today we've chosen two of them. We're going to show them the Digi Camo mm -hmm. and the Knights, correct? Yes. Awesome. Yes, and each design file here, you'll see that it has a Photoshop and a PDF, and the PDF is great because you can use it for Affinity, Illustrator, or Silhouette. Nice, so PDF recommended for Affinity. Mm -hmm. And which are the other ones you said? Uh, Illustrator and Silhouette. Silhouette, mm -hmm. okay. And then we have a PSD for your Photoshop needs. Yes. So that's the one recommended if you're using Photoshop. Mm -hmm. So look at us trying to ex uh, expand to all the designers needs here. Exactly. All right, so here we are. We've opened up the DigiCamo PDF, correct? Yes, we are now in Affinity Designer. Um, I highly recommend using PDF if you're working with Affinity as opposed to the AI file that we have available just because uh, the PDF already combines the layers for you so it makes it a lot easier to manipulate and design. Okay, so Affinity users use the PDF, mm -hmm. and so it's when she, when you open this up, this is how the default look is, right? Yes. Okay, so you guys see it's showing her two red boxes here. Uh, tell them about the two red boxes. So the two red boxes, they're going to show you where your bleed area is on the sock. So you want to make sure your design is well within these two red boxes, and anything on the outside is going to be your bleed area. Okay, so I brought over these socks, so I wanted to show you guys... Uh, yeah, can you hold those up? Mm -hmm. So what that represents, the two red boxes basically represent this sock here next to this sock here because when you do production you do both socks next to each other so now this logo would hit right here, this logo would hit right here and then you'd have extra bleed area to make sure you didn't miss a spot on the sides uh, and then the background of course would fill up the entire background. So that's what those two lovely red boxes represent. All right, now let's get to the designing part. All right, so let's say some youth group gives you their logo and you're like, all right, perfect. I need to make a quick soft design. We got you guys covered. Say they have a shark logo, like the Silky Sharks. <laughs> nice, now is that a logo you found on the internet? This is the one I found on the internet. Um, okay, cool. It's labeled as PNG, but as you can see, it's not because the difference is it does not have a transparent background. So you're gonna run into that a lot with Google. Uh, there'll be a lot of images that say PNG, but it's okay because we're gonna make this transparent ourselves. Okay, so what you're saying is we're gonna remove the white background, right? Yes. Okay, okay, and then so go back to the digi camo real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the goal guys is what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out the logos. Yes. And we're also gonna change the colors so you can see uh, a, a f the same file but with updated colors and a new logo mm -hmm. assuming you found the logo on the internet or maybe your customer sent it to you mm -hmm. or maybe you designed it yourself yep exactly so we'll go back to the sharks logo um, as you see on the right hand side it just says background uh, it's gonna have a lock button just make sure you double click that to unlock it I had already unlocked it here 
then we're gonna go ahead and make sure you're in the pixel persona on the top left side so there's three personas with an affinity um, designer persona pixel persona and the expert persona pixel is what you're gonna be working with when you're designing and editing images so what we're gonna do is go ahead and hit the flood select tool and then go ahead and tap on the image and you're gonna see it's already selected the shark for you Oh nice, it just kind of selected all that flood select tool. The flood select tool. Okay. That'll be a little, that's a little cheat sheet uh, on Infinity. Okay. Then on your Mac or your PC, you're gonna wanna hit Command or Control Shift I to invert this. Okay. So that way only the shark now is selected. Ah, uh, okay, so the shark is selected uh -huh. instead of the, the white stuff background. outside, uh -huh. okay. And cool. then over here on the right hand side, you're gonna go ahead and hit the mask layer, and that's how you're gonna mask. Oh, nice. So remove the background right there. Yep. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and hit just Command D or Control D to deselect that. And boom, you now you have a transparent uh, image there for you. Awesome. And then you copy and paste it into the document or are you going to... Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste this. So what I'll go ahead and do is make sure I'm on the select tool. We're just going to cut that. Do you hit Control C? I hit Control X. Oh, okay, okay. You can hit Control X to cut out the image and paste it, or you can hit Control C to copy it and okay. paste it over. Got it. Just preference. And then over here, we're going to make sure we're outside of these layers so it doesn't get mixed in. And then get a new layer. And then we'll just hit Command V to paste the shark. Okay. So you pasted that right in there, I yes. see. And you're going to use these nodes to go ahead and resize it and make sure you hold Shift to keep the proportion intact. Okay. And we'll say we'll hover it over the frog. And you're gonna go ahead and use these red lines to kind of guide you to how big you need the shark to be yeah, centered. Probably needs to be a little bit smaller. Nice. Like okay, and then right now the documents and pixels. Yes. Let's go ahead and change that to inches. I'll go ahead. All you do is go to the top left where it says pixels, points. Go ahead and go to inches. Okay. Cool. So that'll show you the the 10, 10 inches doc, 10 by nine inch document. Yes. Um, so yeah, this is what we use for the athletic socks, 10 inches by nine inches. Mm -hmm. I do want to point out guys that that gives you a lot of bleed. So you could cut off some of the bottom of the bleed, which we do on colored socks mm -hmm. and we make them about eight inches. Mm -hmm. um, and then even the 10 inches wide is, uh, it gives you a nice half inch on each side. Mm -hmm. So you could get away with like nine, nine and a half if you wanted a smaller print file. Right. Okay, cool. So, so we'll go ahead and go back to the shark. So we can go ahead and remove <clears throat> the frog. Yeah, we gotta delete the frog, right? Yeah. Froggy's well, gotta go. Make sure we're here. There now it's the shark. There we go. So you selected the frog. the frog. And you're just gonna hit the check mark to make it invisible, or you can just completely delete the layer. Okay, so she removed the froggy. Okay. Cool. <laughs> the froggy. <laughs> <laughs> And we got the star on there. That's cool. Maybe we could keep the star yeah, as like part it. of it. Okay. That's actually pretty dope. Cool. And then same thing with the shark. We'll just go ahead and let me see what we do here. We'll go ahead and just copy and paste another shark right here. And then resize it. Okay, so you copied and pasted the shark, resized it, you put it over the frog, and now you're going to delete the frog. Yeah. So you select it, and, and then sure. once you select it, you just make sure it's the right thing. I like how it gives you these previews right here. This yeah. Is very cool. It's super nice, because you're like, okay, I can kind of see what I'm working with here. And Affinity has been really popular, right? A lot of people have been buying it and using it. Yes. Um, and we've also started using it because a lot of our customers are using it. Yes. I like it because it's very um, cost efficient. And it's super easy to use, so if you're like, I use Photoshop all the time, and Affinity is not that hard to learn once you've already kind of got the gist of Photoshop. Yeah, how much does it cost, do you know? Uh, usually Affinity costs around like $50, but usually they have sales for like $25 one time. Nice, and it's not a monthly fee, so that's nice. That is really yeah. nice. Okay, cool, continuing. So we've put our two sharks there. Mm -hmm. We've kept the star. Star, and then now say you're like this green is messing up with the whole blue vibe we have going on here. You can go ahead and change those colors. So, Affinity, super easy. You can just click on the layer, and it has this 
nice little color wheel if you don't know the hex code and you just want to play around with the colors uh, easy just go ahead and click it click mm, around nice all right so what color are we going to choose matching colors there um yeah we could do matching colors let me see we'll go ahead and do the eyedropper tool on the left hand side and you notice we are in the designer persona now to find the eyedropper tool and we'll go ahead and use this blue so now it's matching the blue that's within the saw, uh, shark. <laughs> okay, and then how will you select all these other areas of light green? So what you can do is on your layers panel, you can go ahead and hit control or command and hit all those. And then... Eyedropper, boom, okay. And then boom, it changes the color for all those layers. For the ones you selected, mm -hmm. right? For the ones I selected. Okay, but now we need to continue if we want to select that one. Yep. So you kind of select, I see. Yes, yeah, so you kind of just need to go through and just select it, but it's kind of nice because it gives you a lot of like creative freedom to really like um, be very detailed in your design. Okay, cool. Okay oh, guys, came up with a faster way to change these colors. So now let's say you wanted to change all this green shade all together. You're gonna select one of them, then we're gonna go to select same fill color that should pick up all of the same color of that green mm -hmm. okay and now we're gonna go ahead and give it a different color shade so let's go ahead and give it like a light blue nice so yeah what we're doing is just selecting different shades of blue mm -hmm. cool so that select same fill color is a good shortcut to change these colors around okay let's replace that shark where where it should be and we have one more gray that we're going to change here. Okay, so we got that. Change the gray. Cool. And let's go ahead and hide the guides now. Hide those. Bam. And there, click away. There is our final design. Nice little camo shark. Okay, so now we're gonna save the, the design. Mm -hmm. So on Affinity, you wanna go to just file and export and that's how you can do these different formats. And that's why I like to do PDF for this one. Alrighty. Yeah. We'll do... And then it's good to go. Is that shark silky enough? <laughs> yeah, the shark baby. Cool, moving on. That one is saved and we'll get to printing that. Let's show them Photoshop. So we opened up the Knights file on Photoshop. Mm -hmm. And what logo are we gonna throw on this guy? We're gonna go ahead and throw a penguin on the Knights logo. So this is one that I got off of Google. We're gonna go ahead and remove the black background and kind of do something similar that we did in Affinity. All right. So on Photoshop, I'm gonna go ahead and use the object selection tool. Uh, this tool is pretty easy to use when you have like a big contrast between the image and the background. So you can see it already selected the entire penguin for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit Control or Command J to uh, remove that and paste it over. So hold up, you did object selection tool mm -hmm. and then control or command J. Mm -hmm. What does that represent, J? So there. it automatically like cuts it and pastes another one, a copy of it on top of it. Oh. So as you can see on the right hand side. Oh, so it created a second layer. It created a second layer for me with just that. Nice. Okay. I want to also show them a different way. Okay. The way I do it is uh, I use the magic eraser. <laughs> Oh, okay, that works too. Let me see. So you can go ahead and click this. So you go magic eraser and then boom. Okay. Yeah, so I erased the black background with one click. Mm -hmm. So you have two options, uh, magic eraser, erase the background, or what you did was... I did either the object selection tool, and if, that, if the image is not as transparent from the background, you can do quick selection tool, and you can go ahead and click click the image yourself. Okay. Oh, three different methods. A few different methods there. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys caught that. And we'll make sure we put the strokes typed out here on the video. Mm -hmm. So 
So now that we have it as a separate layer, we can go ahead and click and drag it over to the Knights one. I'm gonna hit Control T or Command T if you're using a Mac and hold Shift and do resize it. Resize only the corner nodes. There. Yeah, so if you hold shift, then it'll stay uh, proportional. proportional. Mm -hmm. Alright, good. And then I'm going to go ahead and just hit option or alt with the layer and drag it down. That's going to go ahead and copy it for me. That way I can just drag it over. Nice, I love that feature. Alt just uh, creates a copy and drags it over. Same size, everything. Mm -hmm. Now we can go ahead and just remove the Knights logos. They're already in a folder right here, so we can go ahead and just hide the entire thing. Beautiful. Man, using Photoshop seems so easy. So. <laughs> it's just because we're used to yeah, it. Yeah, we're That's used why. to it. Yeah. <laughs> so, different strokes for different folks. You might like Photoshop better than Affinity. You might like Affinity. That's All right. true. But we're trying to show you guys both. Okay, so we plugged in our Penguin logo. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go ahead and change some colors. Alright, so let's go ahead and we can change the red here. Nice, we have some easy, easy backgrounds for you. So all you do is double click the layer. Um, what color are we thinking? We do... Let's give them a yellow. The yellow vibes here. See if you can't click the beak. Yeah, there you go. The eyedropper, boom. Boom, just like that. Okay, cool. Cool, and then we can keep the black, maybe change the gray. Yeah, we could change the gray. Maybe just a darker gray. Darker gray, so like we can get started here, and then we can just drag it down. Nice. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, so we kept it simple. And black, it, gray, and yellow. And you can see that this one also has the blue uh, bleed boxes here. You can go ahead and hide those when you're done. Yeah, so you'll hide the guides, the blue bleed boxes. Now there's some other guides here that aren't going to print. Yes. What are those guides called? These are smart guides. Okay, so the smart guides aren't going to print, mm -hmm. but the blue boxes, uh, shall I bring those back? The bleed guides, those are going to print, so you definitely want to hide those, which she just did with a click of a button there. Right, and if, say, you don't like the white background here, there's a layer where it says white. I can go ahead and use, like, the paint bucket tool and change the background color to, let's say, like a red. Let's see, we can rasterize it. Oh, okay, okay. And make it red. And if you double clicked it, it wouldn't have worked? Do you know? Um, hey. Let's try. Oh, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> so a few different ways. <laughs> few different ways. Alright, so either double click it and see if that color change will f go for you. Yeah. So, but let's 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 go ahead and hide that. We'll give them a white background on this one. Gotcha. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do, and let's go ahead and save that. Gotcha. Penguin guy, looking <laughs> fresh. Go to file. Um, you can go to export as, and then same thing. We'll go to PDF. And if you guys mess up, you guys can do what I've been doing and hit Control Z or Command Z, and it automatically takes you back to what you just did. <laughs> very important, very important. So let's go ahead. Because we're all messing up here and there. You know this. Let's go ahead and save this as. Are you going to do a PDF for this one too? I'll do JPEG for this one. I'm going to export it. Alright guys, so we just finished designing. She's going to go ahead and save that. Next step, we are going to go send this for print. Yes sir. All right, so now we're at our Wasatch station where we bring in the pro the files we just designed. Uh, go ahead and mirror them. So I'll go ahead and I'm gonna select these all. I click. Boom, quick yeah. mirror. And each one is filed at about 10 inches wide mm -hmm. and nine inches tall. And go ahead and send it for print. And it's on its way. Let's do this. Okay, so now we are going to grab our blank socks from our blanks packaging area here. We need a navy blue foot for the, the digi camo and, a, and my size is large. So we're going to go ahead and grab one of those. Awesome. And 
We're gonna grab a black foot white top for that penguin in Raquel's size. Ladders in the way here. You're going small? Going small. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just finished the design and the pressing. Yeah. Now it's time to wear these things. Heck yeah, let's put let's, them on. Let's do it. Silky socks. <laughs> it's like that new sock feel, like that new shirt feel. Oof. It's that new sock feel. Ooh, How do yours feel? Ooh, nice and soft. Small is a perfect fit. Alright, so she's got the size small black foot white top on. And you can see, even after you put them on, the graphic looks great. And the stretchability is nice. What's your shoe size? I'm a size 6. Size six in women's. in women's. Okay, so she's wearing the small, which is suggested for four to six in women's. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel right now? I feel so soft. <laughs> Can you see the bottom of the foot? That's that athletic uh, cotton foot bottom. So you're not just saying that because you work here. You like them. Yeah, I do like them. <laughs> Comfy level. Comfy level one through ten. I would say pretty solid ten. Oh, pretty you give it a ten. 10. Ooh, with the fresh socks. How you feel? They feel so good, I'm not even gonna lie. The navy blue just with the with the shark. I'm like a, a Dallas shark over here with the, with the star, but no. Uh, just this is my most fav my favorite pair in terms of comfortability is the athletic sock. So they just feel very silky, not gonna lie, Raquel. I love the navy. The navy blue. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. We went from affinity, affinity to Photoshop to the heat press to our feet. To our feet. You're a great teacher. Thank you. Hopefully uh, that's the first time of a series of tutorials, designs, help, and computer help we can give you guys. And other than that, keep blessing feet. Keep making heat. Get on your heat press. Face your fears. Face your design fears and just try. Like you saw in the design tutorial, we weren't perfect. We were just dabbling away and going with it. And overall, it feels good to get it done, right? It does feel great. It feels so much better. <laughs> Accomplishment, baby. And we want to see you guys succeed in your small business and your sublimation business and try. I always hear people saying, oh, I've got so many blanks lying around. I haven't pressed them yet. Like, no, scared. just do it. Just open the heat press and press those socks. Let's get it. All right, guys, see you soon. Peace.
Today we're going to do a tutorial on the computer showing you guys Affinity in Photoshop. I've got my awesome admin with me here. I call her Superstar Raquel. And you say, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and then check this out. Uh -huh. So, and then I'm going to be like, are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Uh, I usually say, let's do this right now. And then I walk out. Uh -huh. I'm going to be like, let's do this. And then you're going to be like, right now. And then we're both going to like walk out. Walk out. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That's with the fit. Let's get it. Socks. Okay. We're <laughs> not wait. <laughs> like it looks crooked, let me just try. <laughs> no lint roll or nothing, huh? Nothing. <laughs> No, I don't want to hear about any shipment delays. I just want you to get our socks ordered for delivery to our customers. Alright? Got that? Deliver our order, please. Thank you. 